In this video, I want to take you guys through some really great PlayStation 4 game deals available right now. Specifically, we've actually got a great deal on a one-year PlayStation Plus subscription card. One of the better deals I've seen in quite a while, given that PS Plus deals have been a little bit more few and far between. So when we do see a great deal, I definitely like to bring that to you guys. Also, a Plague Tale Innocence still available really cheap over at GameStop. I would highly recommend you to check that out. And then Assassin's Creed Odyssey, if you've yet to pick that up, that's available really cheap cheap over at Best Buy and then I also do want to go over to PlayStation 4 game updates. Hardcore Mecha will be launching very very soon and then Arc System Works have announced a brand new 2D pixel art action game called Code Shifter and it's coming rather soon as well at least in Japan and then it will be coming later on in the West. Alright, first off, for those of you looking to re-up your PlayStation Plus subscription, a one-year membership can be had on Newegg for $40 after a promo code. I'll leave the promo code in the description box. But the code is EMCDGGD23. Uh, that'll take you down from its initial $59.99 price point to $39.99. And this might be one of the best deals I've seen on Plus in recent memory. Uh, more so recently, we've seen it for around $45. Maybe a site like Green Man Gaming will have it for like $42. 74. New like having PlayStation Plus a one-year subscription card on that for $40 is a really good deal and I know that there's been a lot of complaints about the Plus offerings recently, especially with January's lineup of Uncharted, uh, Nathan Drake Collection, and Goat Simulator. It hurts a lot less when you're not paying as much for PlayStation Plus. For those of you that are going month by month and paying $10 every month, yeah, I can see why you're getting really, really tilted over the game offerings with PlayStation Plus. You should be signing up for a year and you should be getting that year for a discount and at this case of $40 it's really good even if you already have PlayStation Plus you can get this one year code and it'll stack on top of your subscription time that you have already. It seems like with Plus, Sony is getting a little bit more and more hesitant every year to discount it. This past year in 2019, during the holidays, they didn't put it as cheap as they used to. You used to see Plus for 30, as low as $30. I literally remember when one year of Plus would be as low as $30, but this Black Friday and during the holiday season, the cheapest we were seeing it for was $45. So who knows, maybe Sony is trying to do away with offering Plus regularly at a discount that is the general mo of subscription services they offer you a ton of discounts they try to get you bought in and then ultimately they stop offering those discounts like if you look at xbox game pass you get what like a dollar for three months of xbox game pass ultimate well the ideal is not going to be to offer you game pass ultimate for you know three months a dollar every time out the idea is they're going to get you signed up, they're going to get you to put all your payment information in, and then hopefully you keep that monthly subscription, and then they can start charging you $15 a month. That's the idea with all of these subscription services and the deals you see, but with Plus, again, the deals are being lessened and lessened, but still $40 at Newegg is really good after that promo code. So if you're in the market for it, or looking to re-up your subscription, or looking to just extend your subscription, really good deal right now. Alright, moving on from that, I do want to cover a couple of really good deals available. On GameStop, you've got a play Tilt Innocence, it is $10 off for $19.99, so yes, they have lowered the MSRP of this from $49.99 or whatever it was to $29.99, and on top of that, you are enjoying a little bit of a discount. I think Play Tale Innocence is a tremendous game. I constantly go to bat for it whenever it's on sale. It's on sale on the PlayStation Store as well, I think for... $25, so a little bit cheaper if you do get the physical copy of the game, but A Plague Tale Innocence is a tremendous game, and of course, it is very much a story-driven experience. However, it's one of those story-driven experiences that get going right away. It's not like there's an hour, two hours, three hours of story building and character building until it really gets going. No, I would say from the first 15 to 20 minutes of the game, you are immediately hooked by, yes, some of the story elements, but also because of the ambiance, the atmosphere that the game is able to set into place. I'm not going to say it's the most visually pleasing game in the world. However, the visual style really works because it adds that dark and drab atmosphere that the overall tone of the game is going for. They just do a lot of things right with the Plague Tale Innocence. I think there's a lot of potential in future works done by Asabo Studios. There's rumblings of a sequel in development as well. Whatever the case may be on that for $19.99, definitely give Plague Tale Innocence a look. And by the way, there is a demo available on the PlayStation Store, so you can check that out as well. But it does note that Pickup at Store is unavailable. But if you look for your local store, you probably can find the game available at your local store, and then you can order it online. Usually ships in 24 hours. And then they do know free edge shipping on orders above $35. $5. Unfortunately, Plague Tale obviously does not hit that threshold, but nonetheless, there is that as well. Alright, moving on from that, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. 
$45 off at Best Buy down to $15. Assassin's Creed Odyssey objectively is a great game. You guys know how I feel. I just think these Assassin's Creed games are getting way too, too big. But hey, I'm, I'm very much in the minority on that. Most of you guys love AC Odyssey. Most of you guys loved AC Origins. And I definitely, from an objective standpoint, I can understand why people really enjoyed these games. There's so much content to them. And they're games that are going to keep you busy for a very, very long time. And with AC Odyssey, it is a game that will keep you busy for a very, very long time. Ideally, you would like to get the gold edition of this game, which I do believe is on sale on the PlayStation Store, but obviously I don't believe you can get that physically. They do have the deluxe edition, but it's like $80. The base game still offers so much content that I would still get it, and for $15, it's a great buy. Just do go into it expecting an experience that's going to require a lot of time investment because it's not like you can rush through the main story. You got to do the side content. You got to level up uh, because if you don't level up, you're not even going to be able to hit the main story mission. So that's always been a little bit of a bummer to me unless you want to go the route of getting a double XP boost, which man, not a big fan of that either. All right. And lastly, I do want to quickly cover two games that are coming to the PlayStation 4 soon. First up, we've got a pretty interesting game in Hardcore Mecha. It's coming to the PlayStation 4 January 14th in the West. First launch in June of 2019 in Japan, Korea, and Asia. Now coming to the West and it notes Hardcore Mecha is a truly stylized 2D mecha action game that platformer fans will love with a huge variety of mechs and killer moves to master. It delivers on our promise to create a truly competitive action game that's coming directly from Rocket Punch Games' producer. We're thrilled to announce that both North America and European PlayStation 4 players can now battle it out with their chosen mecha. Hardcore Mecha is a 2D platformer where players choose their mecha as they embark on a thrilling action-packed adventure filled with shooting, flying, and exquisite animations. Imagine a mix of Metal Slug and Super Robot Wars, the game features three major game modes, campaign, multiplayer, and a survival mode. In campaign mode, you take control of a mercenary charged with the task of finding a missing intelligence officer on Mars. Players will be engrossed in a story of conspiracy and insurgency consisting of eight chapters and 18 stages ranging from deep underwater, out in space, or confined in urban environments, all gorgeously realized with seamless animated cutscenes. In several stages, human pilots can also exit their mechas, thus expanding the ability to explore the environment and engage in further platform-based combat. So again, Hardcore Mecha is coming to the PlayStation 4 January 14th. Also, Arc System Works have announced 2D pixel art action game Code Shifter for PS4. It's coming out January 30th in Japan and shortly thereafter over here in the West. Code Shifter is a 2D pixel art action game featuring characters from across its various franchises from Arc System Works, including Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, and the River City series. It'll launch digitally for PlayStation 4 on January 30th in Japan for 2,000 yen and soon over here in the West. Characters from all the iconic Arc System Works franchises, including Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, and the River City series, series all meet in a 2D pixel art action game, utilize a whopping 100 characters to successfully adapt and complete all stages. Brawl with up to 4 players, the included colorful fighters game mode features a brawler minigame that allows up to 4 players to duke it out in a free for all, fight against other CPU controlled characters in the EX stages of the main story to unlock more playable characters, try and unlock all 30 playable characters and win in epic brawling battles. Again, a rather interesting game, especially if you're a fan of Arc System Works and a lot of these IPs, Guilty Gear, Blaze Blue, two of my favorite fighting games and seeing characters like Ragna in there, that is rather cool and definitely is going to be a game that I'll give a chance to, especially with the slick pixel art style that it's boasting. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, it's something that I really dig. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, get a one-year PlayStation Plus membership for just $40 after a promo code on Newegg. Great deal on that, so definitely check that out. Play Tale Innocence for $20 over at GameStop. Assassin's Creed Odyssey for $15 over at Best Buy. Hardcore Mecha for PS4 drops January 14th, and Code Shifter hits January 30th in Japan shortly thereafter over here in the West. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.